Good evening, everyone. So today we have a combo request by Manuel Lopez for the SDRV M42 DT, also known as the Delat Torn, and the A21 A3. This is going to be an interesting one because I have had an absolute nightmare trying to get this combo to do some work. The tank is fine. It's the fact that everyone spawns an anti-aircraft whenever they die in a tank, it seems, but... You know, I suppose it could be worse, but hey-ho, on the positive side, I did manage to get this tank fully spaded, because I didn't actually have this thing spaded. The only real things I was missing was um, horizontal drive, brakes, and suspension. But throughout the attempts to try and get a combo to do some work, well, the combo to do some work, I did manage to get this tank spaded, which is always nice. Glad I didn't leave this thing to rot in the hangar like I originally was going to. The Delat Torn is not a bad tank, it's just plagued with bad teams. Its lineup is good, but it's a little bit predictable. But it does bring one thing to the table which is definitely going to help us out, and that is an autoloader. It's a four shot autoloader with a reload rate of 3.2 seconds, and it goes up to about 7 or 8. Which isn't bad, given the ability of the gun, let's put it that way. The coaxial machine gun does have a weird-ass mounting. Like, it doesn't come with the turret, if that makes sense. Like, it has its own elevation, so it does sometimes take a little bit for the coax to come up. But, to be fair, if I'm using the coax, chances are I'm loading a HE. But, you get my point. It's a good vehicle, and with this upgraded round, it's extremely solid and has no real problems dealing with most targets. In an up tier, it can be a struggle, especially against something like a Jumbo, but if you get around the Jumbo side, it's not surviving one shell, let's put it that way. And as I said, 3.2 second reload. It tends to clap a lot of cheeks, let's put it that way. As for the plane, it's the A21A3. This is the attacker variant of the, the Saab J21. Now, he didn't suggest a loadout for this, so I'm torn between two, let's put it that way. And that is this bomb load here, which I'm going to mark as a favourite. Four fifties and a two fifty, or just go with Big Mama and bring the six hundred. Which, well, it's a big bomb, and this thing can easily deal with targets with this bomb. But let's not waste any time because, well, I've got my dailies to do as well. So you never know, might be able to kill two birds with one stone. And let's get cracking. Obviously, again, later on, you will be getting another combo request as well. Um, I believe that is... I think it's the Firefly request that you're getting next. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I think it's that one. It's it's in order on my notes, and I'm pretty certain it's the Fireflies. But that's going to be an interesting one. Because it's the Firefly Mark V. I'm, I'm choosing that one. And the, uh, what was it, the Firefly Sherman. But obviously I don't have the premium Firefly Sherman, so just bear that in mind. I mean, it doesn't make a difference anyway, it's just one's Polish and one's British, but you get my point. Anyway, let's get rolling. There's been a lot of frame drops recently in-game, and I don't like it. But, hey ho, could be worse. So we're going to use this thing's high mobility to get into a good position. Whilst it isn't the most durable of tanks, because the armor's crap, we can still use its great mobility to get around the battlefield. And with that autoloader, we're going to be out reloading pretty much any tank at this BR, other than SBA pieces. Hello, Sherman. I'm a lot faster than you. I suppose that Firefly is that fast. The other day I was driving that damn thing, it felt so sluggish, even on a good crew. And don't worry, mine is fully spaded, so don't panic about that. Let's take a shortcut. Let's actually go in this warehouse over here. Well, what I would call a warehouse. More of like a factory, but you get my airport, like my point. 
Plus, this is a uncaffeinated Joe speaking. What the fuck? What is this, Demolition Derby? Hey! Didn't even need to load HE. Coax did it for me. I mean, fair play. Hmm. I'm gonna back up because I do not trust this. My spider sense is slightly tingling. Yeah, it fuck it is. There's a friggin' jumbo right there. No, don't piss it off. I thought I could shoot through that. There we go. Fucking jumbos. I hate dealing with jumbos in this tank. The only other thing I don't like dealing with is the Russians. Like, the, the tigers and shit are fine, but... Yeah, we're being flanked. Okay, never mind. Stura killed it. Good. Right. There was a T-34 or something over on this side, but... Oh, shit almighty! <laughs> I honestly thought that was a friendly! Like, I just heard it and I thought... That might be Swedish, or it's my engine I'm hearing, but... No, it was a freaking kv one Zis. <laughs> God, that scared the ever living daylights out of me. Yeah, I think this guy over here definitely knows I'm here, which is unfortunate. I can see him. I don't know if I can get a shot, but we'll find out. There we go. Can I get a shot, maybe? Is he going to go for it? Because obviously he needs to cap B. I've got my headphones on slightly lower volume because... It helps focus a little bit. What is that? It, it looks like a T-34. It's covered in bushes. So I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, he's going for it. It is a T-34. Well, was. Alright, fat ass. Shift. Come on, give me some power. Oh, hang on a minute. There we go. Okay, not doing too bad. Five kills. Doing really well. Hello. There was something else over here. I saw another tank in the smoke. For like half a second. I think it just went through here. Yes, it did. That's KV-1. Got a nice hit, but I don't think that Russian beast has given up without a fight. He'll probably turn his arm out of that side if I had to guess. Yep, he freaking did. Okay, the autoload is out of... Yep. The autoload is out. Let's use our mobility. We're faster than him. We've got a teammate waiting in the wings, so we will just outflank him here. Ow, ow, ow! Stop shooting me! That's not very nice! Good night. That played. And I'll, I'll take that. Seven kills. I will take that. Absolutely. That was a good run. I think that was the the Cheeto guy we killed earlier in the in the, the regular Cheeto, not the Cheeto late. All right, well that was a very good run, I think. See what I mean? The problem isn't the tank; it's the goddamn plane. Because after time, I just can't do anything in the plane. I'm gonna have to turn up my headphones here.
Not just to listen for the sound of the wind whooshing as this thing reaches over speed at a ridiculously low speed for its BR. But you catch my drift. Okay, so typically when it comes to the plane, I try and be... Like, I try and be useful, but at the same time... I've also got to consider survival, because at the end of the day, you don't want to see the plane for like two minutes. Now, I do have enough to spawn another plane, should this go wrong. How the cheetah are alive still near B? How? He's not. I killed him earlier. Let's give him a strafe. I've just realized I've got my... Yeah, I thought I did. I was flying an IL-2 the other day, so... My guns are split. Three times one spawn idiots should get reported. Uh, no one spawned three times, mate. <laughs> so I can hear both us firing, which is not a good thing. They've got two aircraft up. Right, that's a B-26 Marauder, I think. Oh, good almighty. Stop shooting at me! No! You're being rude! Do not be rude to the king! Alright, that was a good shot. Fair play. <laughs> I'm glad I did have enough spawn points to bring another plane, because that guy's a good shot. But you get my point, like, it's very difficult to get anything in the plane because people just spawn in AA and they're a good shot. And I know people say, oh, cast is this, cast is that. Yeah, sometimes it's just not working. And in my case, it's not working. Like I said, the plane is great for this sort of thing, but the simple fact of the matter is, is you can't do much when it's just you in the sky. Because all the SPAA will shoot at you. That's just how it works. Because they spot a snack and they want that snack. Speaking of snacks, we need to play this carefully. Oh my aim, Jesus. No one saw that, yeah? We're just gonna say that Joe's aim is godlike. We're not we're not gonna say that Joe's aim sucks, yeah? We'll agree on that. Okay, Kai 43 dealt with, and that's also my daily done. But, you want to see the 600, don't you? Like, come on. I wouldn't bring the 600 if I didn't want to use it. Like, come on. No, I see that little bastard. Hold on. I'm going to help my teammate deal with him. I'm not wasting a 600 on a freaking AA. Present. There you go. I don't know if I took out the gun breaches on that M19. But his reload rate's going to be down a lot. I'm really worried about responses here. Because the A21's a decent fighter, but it's only like good at dealing with like the non-meta threats. What I mean by that is, it's just not a good anti-cast plane. Like, it's powerful with its guns, as you'll see there. But the trouble is, is that that's all it really brings to the table. Like, it's it's got a good first turn, it's got a good bomb load for what it is. Like, having a 600 is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, yep, we've got a response. I don't even know what that is. Oh, please do not tell me that's a Yak-3. If that's a Yak-3, we're fucked. There's no polite way of putting this. If that's a Yak-3, we are royally fucked. Unless he pays no attention. If he pays no attention, I will capitalize on that. Obviously, I've got to watch the AA fire and... The X3. So I'm kind of multitasking here. We're going for it. 
I can hear another plane. It's probably for me. Oh, it is the Act 3. We are dead. <laughs> I can hear a Mustang or something. Yeah, it's a Mustang. It's an enemy Mustang. Oh my god, go away! Yep, the Act 3P. I don't think he pays attention to the kill feed. Come on, waste your ammo. IVFS, which doesn't really help, but you get my point. <laughs> well, I think we've got time since we, we've had a decent run, but should we do one more spawn in the tank? Yeah, why not? I'm going to leave the HE on for now. Because we're going to need it. Alright, here's a little skill that I might... I don't get to use very often. Teaching yourself to fire on the move. Now obviously that was quite low speed, but it's something I've been practicing a lot. Like, I know firing on the move for some tanks isn't possible, like tank destroyers and things like that, but in situations like that you kind of have to at the end of the day. But Okay, since he's dropping RE, I'm going to drop some poor man smoke, which is also known as artillery because this thing doesn't get smoke. I only just heard that at that moment. And yeah. I only heard that tank at the last minute. Why no help back? All this guy's done is complain. Like, come on, mate. Alright. I think that's going to conclude it. So as you can see, if you can get some decent runs and actually get into a position to really do your thing, this combo is very effective. But as I said... When you're the only plane in the sky and everyone wants to shoot you down, uh, A21's not the best for that. And sometimes people bring meta fighters, as you saw with the Yak 3P. And against a meta plane, you do not stand a chance. There is no hope for you. The only real hope is if someone takes a head on. But the Yak 3 played it perfectly, and obviously he had the Mustang to back him up. But still, that wasn't bad at all. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's combo. Obviously, we got to use quite a few backups and things like that. But to be fair, I only, I only heard that Cheeto at the last minute. And, well, by the time I heard him, it was too late. But, oh well. I think we had a pretty good run. And that really solidifies that this combo is good. But when you're stuck on teams that are very 50-50, it's hard to get it to work. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's combo request by Manuel Lopez, and I'll see you all on the next one.